The GRF-1N Griffin was first put into production in 2492. Considered a heavy mech earlier in its career, the Griffin was superseded by heavier and better armoured vehicles within a century. The design was popular, however, and so the Griffin was kept in production but downgraded to medium status. This mech may currently be found in almost every unit of the successor states. Though the Griffin was initially designed as an assault mech, its capacity was soon surpassed by more advanced weapons technology. For this reason, the Griffin was given a new speciality, that of long-range fire support in medium lances, a role of which it is well suited. The Griffin's armament is limited yet powerful. Its handheld Fusagon PPC can inflict heavy damage at long ranges. This, combined with the drum-mounted Delta Dart LRM-10 rack, allows the Griffin to hit hard at long and medium ranges. Unfortunately, the Griffin is not equipped for close combat and must rely on other mechs of its unit to provide most of the effective short-range fire. It is equipped with two massive battle fists in case hand-to-hand combat is necessary, however. One of the Griffin's special advantages is its high manoeuvrability relative to its tonnage. With a maximum speed of more than 80 kph and the use of its Rawlings 55 jump jets, the Griffin can outdistance any heavier mech that might do it harm. It is the Cortec 275 fusion engine that allows the mech to achieve such speeds. More massive and efficient than many heavier mech engines, the Cortec 275 is the real reason for the Griffin's long and successful career. By medium mech standards, the Griffin's defensive armour is quite substantial. However, it must often confront heavier mechs in support of other mediums. Because of this, two false armour baffles have been added to the shoulder assemblies of each arm on most Griffins. These baffles give additional, yet limited protection to the long-range missile drum and the head and cockpit area. Two other small armour baffles are located on the legs, protecting the knee joint actuator assembly areas. As with many other early mechs, the Griffin has a serious problem with overheating. Because the mech is fitted with too few heat sinks for its large calibre armament, a Griffin pilot is usually faced with the choice of either firing or fleeing. In most cases, he cannot do both without risking dangerous levels of heat buildup. During the Succession Wars, the Griffin could be found in almost every unit of the Great Houses, thanks to its part of its diverse number of manufacturers. Besides being constructed from Earthworks factory on Keystone, the Griffin was later acquired and built by Defiance Industries on Hesperus II, Calon Industries on Talon, Brigadier Corporation on Oliver, and Norse Battle Mech Works, later Victory Industries, on Marduk. It was even manufactured in the periphery by Vandenberg Mechanized Industries on Illusion. Only the Capellan Confederation lacked a means of building the mech, although they made up for it by purchasing a limited number from the Torian Concordat. During the Fourth Succession War, some of these manufacturers exchanged hands, with the Draconis Combine capturing Marduk from the Federated Sons, and the Lyran Commonwealth taking Oliver from the Free Worlds League. This exchange also happened to coincide with several new variants being designed to exploit the recently recovered lost tech. As such, Variants meant specifically for either houses, Curita, Marek, or the Federated Commonwealth, found their way into its arsenals of all of them. During the clan invasion, these manufacturers produced the new variants to meet the clan threat, while Vandenberg Industries continues to build the original GRF-1N Griffins.